Oh, we've come down to fish for a little tannin stream and another stretch of water I haven't, haven't been to for quite a few weeks. River, uh, or the water level, is right down really low now, getting low now. Much lower than last time when I was up, up in the other tannin water. Um, it's, it's a cool day. I think 14 degrees, it's 13 degrees the forecast for today. It's mainly overcast. Um, I think northwest, it's sort of a northwesterly breeze, but I'm running late today. It's, it's about quarter to twelve at the moment, so but we'll give it a go. See how we go here. There we go, just got my first trout. He's taking on a copper black fury. That's right, I've got a black fury today. And uh, yeah, that was just a uh, cast up, two casts actually took. First one up the middle, nothing. Next one was um, to the right, but I, right along that river bank by that bush and that fallen log. And uh, yeah, this, this fella come out up behind there and yeah, grabbed hold of it. So it's a good start. Perfect conditions though for trout fishing today. Right, just got another one. Just got a second one on the, on the little black fury. It's a brand new black fury I'm trying. I had some old ones home and we pretty well warm ones, but uh, time to give a give a new one a go. And we did. Uh, it's lovely fish. Not a big one, just a little bit. What I love about the rivers being low, you've really got to stalk them, you've got to go in stealth mode. Uh, it's real challenging, real challenging to catch these fish with the, um, when the water's so low like this. Yeah, so he's alright, he's off and hooked and all ready to go. That's a very young male, I can see a little when he hooks, hooks start to appear on his bottom jaw. And he's gone. Yeah, so that was taking a cast down and I got my lure back up under that um, overhanging wattle there that's fallen over. And I uh, saw the bow wave come up behind it and it, was a, it looked like he wasn't going to take it there for a minute. So just a little light twitch of the lure there to jerk and make the blade flutter and that's when he smashed it. Oh, he's just on to another one here. He's only, in. he's only just slipped this one. He had three cracks at it, this fish. And that was taken up there, the right hand side riverbank. It's a nice bubble line running down in that shallow run there. And the air was bump, bump, bump at it. And then just as it came in uh, to the shallow party, he, uh, he smashed it. Yeah, grabbed hold of it. So nothing big, legal size, but that's about as far as it goes. Yeah, nice little fish. Just got another one. Pretty sun's come out now. It's just made it a lot harder now. It's really making it challenging. Uh, I had uh, three follows, and uh, yeah, they just uh, with the trout with their light, their eyes being light sensitive on, on bright sunny days, and having a brand new copper blade on there it's, uh, doesn't help. But this one, lucky enough, I drew him out of a out of out of that shaded spot over there to the right. Hopefully, this cloud will come back over in a minute. It's going to uh, make it tough, really tough fishing. Oh, the wind's picked up with a vengeance now, I tell you. And uh, not only that, I've the lost the last four trout in a row. So, uh, just uh, stuck with it. Stuck with it. I've gone to a copper anglia now, a bit wider blade, and uh, sharpened the hooks up on that. The first cast I had a hook up and lost, lost a fish on that. So, hopefully, I'll get them to start staying on. Yeah, I could have had eight by now, not not just stuck on four. There's the sun out now, God, it's making trout fishing near impossible here in the shallow water. There's, trout, there's trout darting everywhere, going riding up against them riverbanks on the right hand side now. It's just, it's, uh, yeah, whereas before when it was overcast, they were sitting out, scad right across the whole river from one side to the other there, but now. Just all duck for cover, and it's, uh, I don't know what's going on. It's supposed to be bloody raining by now. Typical Bureau of Meteorology stuff ups. Oh, we finally got one. And, uh, got him on a brown bug spinner, March brown bug spinner. Uh, you've tried the ugly, gold aglias, I've tried them um, copper aglias, I've called um, gold black furies. And, I thought, and they're coming, they're coming up, just nipping up and darting off, nipping up, darting off. So I thought, well, let's try a bug spinner in the March brown pattern. 
And, uh, yeah, and this one come out straight from under that bush in there. They've been following and following it in there and tap tapping at the lures and put this one on, second cast. And, uh, yeah, got trail number five at last, finally. Oh, got another little one on here. And that was with a I had a scramble in to step over this bit of crap here and then I saw one uh, touch the surface just up in there so I had to get down my hands and just do a little flick over the top in there in that little pool and uh, yeah this little little fella here came out and grabbed hold of it so he's not a big one but he, he gave me a little tussle when you're going in and out of all the all the um, dead debris and that in the water but uh, no nice one even half a dozen so I'm pretty happy with that. Right. And another little tucker. I was just um, cast up under that tree there in the shade tree, nice bubble line. You can see the bubble line coming down there. We cast straight up in the middle of that and brought it down. And uh, yeah, this little bubba. Just come down and grab hold of it first hit. Another little one on here. That was uh, cast right against that river bank, brought it down there and he darted out. That left our uh, right hand side river bank and uh, grabbed it. There you are. Yeah, they certainly like the, um, the Mars Brown and the Bug Spinner. It's um, doing a great job at the moment. Finally, I've got one. It's taken a while. It's taken a while to get this fella. About 20 odd minutes since your last fish. It's only a little tacker. I've had a few hit and misses and follows, but they, yeah, they just weren't. Uh, as soon as it went off, I that wind picked up and swung around it's like a northerly. It's, yeah, they just went, sort of went off. And that was just taken up there by that log on the left hand side. So I get the little little fella off and let him go. Oh, I've got number nine here. Another, another, about the same size as what I've been getting all day, these fish. Another nice, well conditioned little fella. Even. Certainly started to slow down though, they're not as aggressive as they were. And this one's only just slipped anyway, might give a head shake in a minute and jump off anyway. But that's the ninth of the day. <clears throat> that was taking a long cast up into that, um, between that bush and that big dead old tree up there, straight up in there by them reeds. And it took about halfway out. Alright, it's now quarter to three. So I've been in the river for probably nearly on three hours. Uh, the trout are completely shut down, hardly seen one now. And what I have, they've just been little taps on the end of the line and follows. And yeah, I don't know what's happened. I've, I've probably got about um, 60 metres of water, river left here, before I get back to um, near the car there. So there's a couple of good spots. I still may get one. I've tried a variety of lures. I've now gone for a um, bug spit back, and I've gone for a, a stonefly. Bug spinner now to see if that would do anything. They went they went off the March Brown, they wouldn't touch the copper aglia, they wouldn't touch the black fury golds or coppers or blacks. So yeah, they've just completely sort of shut down and yeah, that bright sun on the water hadn't helped either. So just spooked so easily. But we may get one more. I just like to get the double figures again, get off get off nine. Oh, finally we've got number ten. <laughs> When the day's nearly done and dusted, I've got a, a, a copper ugly moose Naya, Naya, or Naya, as I call them, and that was taken with a backhand cast up under that willow there, just at the top of that little headwater. And yeah, and a couple of turns of the rear retrieved it, and the little fella smashed it. So, you know, off when he go, finally got me double figure I was after today. Ah, that's the little fella gone. He's up and on his way. Oh, he's got number 11. <laughs> aglia meets Noyer is <laughs> now turned into a, just an ordinary gold aglia. There's a black tag, a black and red tag on the bottom of it. It's completely knackered. Anyway, I had a uh, hook up just there and I lost it. So then I did a backhand cast up under that, up under that bush in there. Right in there by the close to that river bank, and that's where he came out and uh, grabbed hold of it. So we'll get him off. 
Get that back out of focus there. And uh, yeah, we're well, no, I just took and lost number 12 here. Um, had him on for a while, and the last of was trying to get me, trying to get me, um, me, me camera out, out of me fishing vest. So, I was doing that, try and record it, and I lost it. So, doesn't matter. Still happy with what I got. Still got the double figures. Would have been my first catch of 12 for the season, though. Still got one stretch of water, one little stretch of water left to get number 12 if we can. Oh, as you notice. Wind's really picking up now. I've only, caught, only finished up at 11. Lost the opportunity twice to get number 12. And um, I was pretty happy. They, they really shut down, and then the last two we caught, you know, two in probably within a minute and a half. And um, then I hooked another one pretty soon after that next little pool. Um, and that, but that was it, and I had one other hit. But, yeah, that was all over Red Rover then, but with 11, I'm pretty, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, as low as the water was. It was really tough fishing. Once that, once that cloud broke up and the sun came out, it made it doubly hard. But it was um, still a good session. All the little Mets lures did their job, job well again today. They did the Kuma rod and I mean your little Helios reel. It was, um, yeah, top day on the on the water once again. Until next time, tight lines.